What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Eternal Darkness Enemies Work Room. I'll pull up my inventory for a second there, because I noticed the screen was slanted. And let's find out what happens when we give myself some sanity back. It goes back to being straight. Isn't that cool? I know. Anyways, we also came over here and said, Would Sir Alex like to survey the area? I'm like, uh, yeah. Psh. And it says there's a chapter page behind there. It says the familiar overwhelms her as the chapter page comes to her fingers. So does the realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. That's so cool. I just found a chapter entitled Award End All Wars hidden behind the painting. Oh boy, I feel like shit's about to get real, son. All right. I feel like we ended towards the end of this game. I don't know how many more things there are. Hmm. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is important I would imagine not. to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. What are you doing, Mr. Guy? That's it? All oh, right, now I gotta actually read the chapter to. All right, let's do this. So I know we have the. The, the war to end the thing all of wars, Mantarak. we defined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the Ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral uh -oh. and transformed into a field hospital. Oh man, the I same place the Spanish no Inquisition thing was. All the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, mustard gas, rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men so gorged their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. Oh, kind of cool. Oh, neat! Cool. All right, awesome. Soldier's letter lays on the table, waiting to be sent home. Peter has found soldier's letter. Yeah. I did it! I win the game! Ooh, I have other things in my- is that a shaver? First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. I was admitted to the hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I'm reminded that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there is an odd atmosphere around it. Silent, but for the words of the wounded calling out in the night, there is no doubt it is haunted. What I find most odd is in, is it this in? Dang it! I it was it was cool for a while, but then I totally took out the atmosphere. <sighs> what I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewells. Just an empty bed when you wake. Well, that's bad. A lucky penny. An old coin marked with a peculiar manner. It has hold sentimental value for someone. Whoever holds the penny will undoubtedly receive good fortune. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true at all. Flash powder. Uh, a pouch of flash powder uh, for use with a photographic flash pad. Oh yeah, right, flash pad, gotcha. Because I'm a photographer, or a journalist. There's a photographer's flash pad used to hold combustible uh, powders that when ignited create a large white flash. This can be used to stun some enemies. 
No oh boy. That means there's gonna be enemies in this place. Dude, I would never would have thought. I think this is the same cathedral, right? This must be terrifying. Um, oh, oops. Okay, oh wait, is there rubble here? I thought I was examining the painting there, but nope. Yeah, this is the same one. Alright, with the war being so close, a curfew has been imposed. Traveling outside the hospital is not a safe thing to do since the will most likely be shot in sight. Peter decides to remain in sight. I would think that's probably a good idea. Maybe don't get blown up. A guard shifts about, obviously bored with his duty and awaiting a place on perhaps a cult of arms. You're bored and there's bombs exploding right outside the door pretty much. You silly. So another thing I'm not really too sure I like in this game is the fact we're always in the same places. In fact, I, I mean, I understand that it's, it kind of has to make the story fit together, but I'm kind of sick of going around in the same places over and over again. In fact, deeply on the landing, crates with medical supplies await use. Uh, Serites of morphine, bandages, tourniquets, antiseptants, the list goes on and on. Cool. So, um, yeah, I guess Alex has the, um, the heart of Mantrock, right? Maybe by the end of the game she'll have all three artifacts. That would might be cool, right? I mean, we're, we're probably the chosen one of all chosen ones. Maybe. I don't really know. Whatever happened to us collecting the statues, too? We never did find the um, emerald statue of the um, in the last when we played as... Uh, uh, well, crap, what is his face? Beyond... 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 Beyond something? I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> Doing the bell? Just for LOL sake? No, it doesn't look like it. I love how, like, I don't seem too worried about anything right now. I mean, I said I'm not going to probably be able to walk properly anymore, but I seem to be doing pretty good, actually. I seem to be doing better than the other guy I played as. I already forget the Beyonk, Beyonk something. I was hurting my head that I can't think of his name. Mm. I'm probably expecting to be playing this and halfway through, like, a big freaking bomb explodes through the wall or something. I love how no one seems worried about the fact the bombs are exploding all around them. I mean, maybe they're used to them, I guess. But still, they're just like right outside your door. I mean, how long can a place be bombed over and over and over again before, like, you know, you get used to it? Alright, what's this? Covered with bloodstains, sheets, these poor souls have passed from this world. For them, the suffering is over, but for those around them, the ordeal continues. The faint sound of a moaning emanates from behind the linen veils. Whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, or words offered only by those who face immortality. Aww. It's the same thing, yeah. Alright. Are these all dead bodies? Yeah. Alright. Say, do you have anything to say, nurse? I also don't really like how this game you can't actually talk to anybody. <laughs> I like how you can see in this one, there's clearly no one in there. Well, that's an empty bed, silly. Oh, there's a live guy here. Soldier a soldier is rather distressed. Perhaps he has lost a lot of friends to the trenches of the soul. He confides that the only stories are sad ones and that the only true heroes are in their mortuary. Mor 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 <laughs> I know I giggle at that. I think my pronunciation of the word was silly. Alright. A guard guarding. Guard quietly but strongly points out that the area is off limits to civilians. Am I civil? I, I, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a journalist. I keep forgetting I'm a journalist. There's a letter on here. Blinking ever so faintly. Peter finds a sealed envelope that seems to have been left behind by a dead guy. Alright, let's snoop around. A uh, sealed envelope looks rather official. Yeah, it's gonna be like, everyone's gonna die! Can I, like, look around? Nope. Alright. Nope, I tried. No, Peter, can I use that right now? Well, let's check it. Official note on Army Regulation Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson! Ah, <sighs> I pressed the button by accident. Private Thompson! By our Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of the HRH, George V, you are to leave your post of duty and rally in the streets outside the Obile Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the Queen! I mean, King. God save the shave the king. Seriously, he needs a, his beard needs a serious trimming. Uh, cathedral's taber, ta, tabernacle is fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. Ah, no, sorry, its doors are closed, and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening it manually. Oh man, is that really gonna get the next? I think it's seven point spells. 
It would be Dude, I keep turning on my phone and the noises keep happening from it. Sorry, I don't think you guys actually heard that one. That was Skype. You're not allowed to play the the thing. The the organ. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the organ. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that has survived the war and that while he's alive it will remain intact. Well jeez. I mean good luck if a bomb comes flying through the roof. Alright. Let's go right left or right. Man, maybe this guy does have injured legs. He doesn't seem to be able to run. He seems to be running even less than last the guy we played as. Abruptly, the guard asks if Peter has clearance from the old tire tower, as there's a restricted area. Nah, bro. I don't have that shit. Alright, let's recover. Alright, I can run again. Yay! For like 10 seconds and then tap to. No. Oh, man, seriously? Can I go this way at least? No. An odd collection of colored lines decorate the wall. Below the design steps appear to lead up into a wall going nowhere. Where else am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to see that and then go up the tower and then be like, Oh, I get that Tome of Eternal Darkness here. Oh, but there is a door on this side, isn't there? No, that's in the old tower. Well, poopsies. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Well, I can confirm that there is indeed nothing here. Dude... I hate that, like, I feel the need to cut right now just because I'm getting nowhere fast. And now I'm just running over places I've already been to. Explosions! Hmm. Alright, well, I mean... Hmm, I'm trying to think of other ways to go, but I think that's all of them. There's not gonna be something like, I have to, one of these beds is just gonna happen to have something I need, is it? Probably actually have to go up the tower, the bell tower now, and then I'll probably get transported with to get the Tome of Eternal Darkness. All right, game, let's try this again. Okay, dude is still here. Hello, dude. What's up, brah? Yeah, call the arms. Never coming. Okay, fine. I'll let you rest. Poopsies. Hey, poopsies. Hmm. Can I, like, maybe blind people? <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that. No point in wasting it. Yep, you have the same stuff you did ten minutes ago, woman. <laughs> um, is there anything in here I can examine? Am I missing something, like, on a wall or something? Be able to see something. Eh, nothing. All right, I can only tilt up and down. I can't go left or right. Looks like there's another note on the right wall there beside the pillar. See it? The first pillar on the right. To the right of that, you see, there's two little pieces of paper. I think. I'm waiting for another bomb flash so you guys can see it. Oh, there's more too. Huh. Well, I guess just as a bomb was coming. Well, poopsies. Alright, well, if I don't find anything up here, I mean, uh, I'm gonna cut now, I guess, till I find something. Be right back, guys. Hey, it's a piece of paper. I've, okay, I'm back. So just letters at the top of Crater Medical Supplies. Pick it up. Oh. So just letter two. Second letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love market. I've been... Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, that's private. I've been here for over a week now, and there is no word for when I'll be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. Uh, at night, the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and the corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement, or whispers. I have seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. Once that he heard cries for help in the middle of the night, cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said, Lance Corporal Haskill had not been discharged, but had gone missing. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. Probably being kidnapped and killed, to be honest. I mean, there's no need to think ghosts are involved with this. I mean, you guys are at war, and the war is apparently right at your door, so, I mean... Eh, I'm freaking out. Alright. I mean, I made some kind of progress. I found a letter. Alright, well... Maybe I have to go blind one of these guards or something. 
<laughs> I hate this. I don't know what to do. I'm so scared and alone. There's something in one of these windows. There's that red stain right by my head there. That doesn't look like it was there before. It looks really out of place. Hmm. Nothing on any of these windows. Alright, see you guys in a second when I find something else. The guard inspects the orders and hands them back to Peter, saying that these orders are intended for someone else. Dang it! That may have given these orders that he would fall for some crap. Dude, I thought I'd maybe we'll bribe him with a penny. Nope! <laughs> Yeah, let's try handing this letter to all the guards and see if they say anything. See if they fall for the gullibleness. The guard folds the orders and begins to read them before explaining, Bloody hell, lad! You must be on the offense! Following the orders, he did- Oh, takes leave of his post. Okay, there we go. Ha <sighs> ha, that was random. And he scratches his head like, I can't believe he fell for that. <laughs> what a stupid poop head. Oh. It's observant, less, uh, oh man, I took French for like five years, I still don't understand a thing of that. Although it was grades like one to like six or something like that. Revolver lies bad on nearby, pew pew, pew pew, get it? Because we're picking up a revolver. Pew pew! <laughs> oh. Well then, holy crap, it's so dark in here, I'm scared, I'm scared of the dark. So guys, next episode, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like if you're already. already. My name's Chris. Well then, bad things are happening. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Stack like logs. Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloody corpses of young men who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries and their own and those of others. Goodbye.